Hey you guys, guys, Stevens here. A little quick video I just saw a post on the FileMaker forum. Someone who's having problems with a join table and he's not really understanding how that works. So I thought I'd make a tiny little video to quickly explain how it's going. So basically what he's having problems with is he's got widgets and he's got, he's got customers and he's got widget one has customer one and two widget two also has customer one and two but now he wants to delete customer two from widget one but he doesn't want to delete the customer he just wants to uh, because uh, that customer is still assigned to the other widget okay this requires two tables a widget table and a customer table but because every widget can have multiple customers and every customer can have multiple widgets, we also need a join table. Well, let's see how that would work, shall we? So I've made two tables. I've got widgets and customers. My widgets table has an ID, which is a number, auto enter, serial, and a name. And my customers have a customer name. All right, if we do this, then we should go into browse mode. We should have, let's have a look, see. This one is widgets, I'm gonna rename it. Okay, so we've got widgets and we've got customers. Let's put this one in this kind of view. So this one was customer, so let's say customer one. And let's say customer two. And let's create a few widgets as well. Let's make them like so. And I've got no fields, so I'm gonna modify plus name. And I might even add the ID as well. Okay, so let's say this is widget one and widget two. Okay, so now if, for instance, we would like to say we want to assign a widget to a customer, then we could go into file manage database and say, well, I'm going to make a customer ID form key in here. And then I could add that field, customer ID FK. And then I could say, well, customer one has widget one. But now what if customer two also has widget one? I'm stuck because I can't, I cannot, I could try and do this, uh, like add another line, but uh, that's the dumbest idea you could possibly have. So you could say that this one uh, is assigned to a customer as well, but this doesn't make any sense because you can only assign one widget to one customer. Now in some cases uh, that might be enough, but in this case that is not. We could also just go to customers and then we could do the same thing here and say this customer is related to widget one or two, but again the same problem occurs. So we need a new table, we need a join table. Let's go into file manage database and let's make a join uh, widgets customers. Let's make that. Then what we need to store in this one, as always, we want to have our own ID, which is a serial number. It's not entirely necessary in a join table, but I always just do it anyway. And then what I need to do is relate a certain customer with its ID. And FK stands for a foreign key, that's database speak. And then we have a widget ID foreign key, which is also a number great. Now we've got our widgets, our customers, and we can join them together. And it looks very simple. Widget ID, widget ID, customer ID, customer ID. It's nothing more than that. Now we have to determine from which side we're going to be making those. Are we going to go on the layout of a widget and then add customers? Or are we going to go on the customer layout and then add widgets? You can do either one. Uh, for this one I'm gonna start with the widget side and if I want to be on a widget layout and then assign customers to that widget then I'm going to have to be able to create join records from this side. So I need to go into this setup here, double click this and then I need to see say on the join side I want to <coughs> excuse me, allow creation of records in this table. And also, when I delete a widget, I would like these join records to, to be deleted as well, because then I don't need those anymore. I don't need the join records that join customers to a widget that has been deleted. So I'm gonna check this one as well. That means delete join records in this table when a widget is deleted in the other table. Okay, that's about enough. Let's get out of here. Let's go into layout mode, edit layout, and make a new layout. Um, let's say layout widget. That's for my computer. It's a form. I'm going to finish this, and then I have like a cute new layout. 
Then I'm going to use my field picker to add, um, whoops, I've accidentally based this on the customer table. That's not correct. This needs to be from widgets. Okay, so I'm going to add the widget name here. There you go. I'm going to exit my layout and now I can browse and see I've got widget 1 and widget 2. Great. I've got my widget layout. Now I'm going to add a portal. So I'm going to use my portal tool. I'm going to drag this here. And I'm going to show records not from customers, but from join widgets and customers. Uh, I don't need to do any of these. I can maybe do this and I can show a scroll bar. That's good. And then what field do I need from join widgets customers? I need the customer ID because the widget ID, the widget uh, in this join table is already related to our widget table. And so that will be filled in automatically by FileMaker. So we don't have to worry about that. We can make this one a bit bigger. And then what we can do is we could insert a picture from let's say from the images folder here we could go all the way down and say oof that's kind of a big one i want the other one insert picture all the way down let's insert the uh, uncheck 16 shall we i'm going to put it inside this portal row and then we're going to right click button setup go down to records we're going to say delete portal row okay so that's good We've got our whole thing made up here, and now we can start relating things. We could say, for instance, customer one. And if you want to take this a step further, then we can basically make this a bit smaller. Then we could make this a bit wider, put this in the back, and we could add another field. There you go. And we could say from the customers, I want to actually see the customer name. And I don't need a label for this. I'm going to add this. And then I'll just put some labels up top here. And I'm going to say ID. And then I'm going to say, I'm going to copy this one over here. And I'm going to say customer name. There you go. Let's have a look in browse mode. And this is looking good. I've got widget one uh, related to customer one, related to customer two. I can now go to custom widget two. And I could say customer one, customer two. <coughs> And now basically I've got in my widgets table, I've got two widgets. This one was like a test and this one can be removed again because we're not actually going to use this one. I'm going to delete this one. So I've got two widgets. In my customers, I've got two customers. And in my join widget customers, I've got customer one is related to widget one, customer two to widget one, customer one to widget two, and customer two to widget two. So I've got four records in there, and they are all separate. And now on my widget layout, if I want to remove my customer two from my widget one, I can just delete, delete, and this one is gone. And now I've got my widget, if I browse here, widget 2 is still related to my customer 2. If I go in here, my customers, my customer 2 still exists. Customer 2 has not been removed. I still have my two widgets only in my join table. I now have three join records because that one customer is no longer joined with that one widget. So this would be a good way to go. The only thing that's a little bit annoying is that you have to manually enter the customer ID and I don't like that. So let's see what we can do here. We can make this a drop down list. We can show values from a new value list, which is called customers. We could say use values from a field, from the customer field, and I need to enter the ID, but the ID means nothing to me. I also want to display values from a second field, namely the customer name. And actually, I want to include all values because I want to see all customers, but I only want to show the values from the second field. That's good. Let's do that. Let's see what that gives. And then I can basically use my drop down. I can see my customers. I can select whichever one I want. And then this one shows up here. So that's good. But this can be made a little bit better because now I have to kind of click this one and it's a bit weird. So what I could do is I could make this one the drop down. I could hide this one and I could show only this one. So what I 
need to do that's a little trick I've shown that in another video as well I can make this field and if we go into our inspector under data in the data tab under field entry you can say that this one needs to be available in browse mode but let's say it's not available in find mode and then let's say that this one is an edit box it is not available in browse mode but it is available in find mode and now comes the big trick we're going to put this one on top of this one and we're going to make them the same size so I'm going to select them both I'm going to align them like so I'm going to also align them on the top just to make sure they're exactly on the same spell and then I'm going to make sure they both have the same size and I'm going to resize to the largest width so if I do that and then I can even take this and just drag it a bit longer and this is kind of like a little trick you can do in FileMaker and then what you will see is you will have your two customers and let's go to widget 1 I can click here select customer 2 and customer 2 shows up in here and then I can delete stuff and add new customers and assign them to widgets and as you can see now we back we are back to having four um, join records so this is how uh, a join table works it's pretty simple and if you want we can take this one little step further what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to file manage um, layouts I'm going to duplicate this layout I'm going to edit this layout I'm gonna call it lay customer in fact yeah well this is a little bit tricky um, because it requires that we that we change well it doesn't matter we'll just do it this way it's, this is gonna be easier I've got a customer layout I'm going to go into my lay customer I'm gonna double click this one and say this does not need to be from the widget table but from the customer table and it needs to be the customer name okay that's already good if we do this then we can basically see customer here this is correct but this looks a little funky let's change this let's move this out of the way for a second get to the bottom field let's double click it and let's say that this needs to be the widget IDFK and this needs to be from the widget table the widget name and then this drop down needs to be a different one we need not customers but widgets we're going to use values from the widgets field, the ID and the widget name. We're going to include all values and show only values from second field. So if we line these two up again, then now what we will we have? Customer 2 related to both widgets, customer 1 also. If we say customer 1 needs to be only related to widget 1, then we can delete widget 2 then if we go to our widget layout and basically we remember what we did here so widget 1 is now related to customer 1 customer 1 is no longer related to widget 2 so if you go to our widget layout we go to widget 2 we see that effectively our customer 1 here is gone and on widget 1 our customer 1 and 2 they're both still there so basically I've got two different layouts uh, one layout based on widgets, one layout based on customers, and they are both showing a portal, showing these records and showing the exact same information, just basically from the different angle. So that's how you use a join, a join table, and that's how you can manipulate that one from both sides. And then you've also learned the little drop down without ID trick, which I'm also showing in another video. I hope this helps and I hope this makes sense. All right, ciao.